What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're working with Flutter. So we're coming in at day nine of hashtag 30 days of Flutter and things are getting really interesting now. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to take a screenshot of your individual widgets. And then I'm also going to be showing you how to take that screenshot and share it outside of the app, which is really cool. So you'll be able to take a screenshot of a, spe a specified widget. And then once you have that screenshot, you can share it outside of the app. So really cool stuff. Now with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right on in. And as you can see here, we already have a lot of the UI laid out. At this point in the 30 days, we should feel comfortable building out some of these UI screens that we have um, starting off at, this, at the beginning of the tutorial. You should be familiar with all the widgets that I've used up until now. We're just working with a card, column, image, text, button, just all normal stuff and I have a lot of this built out. If you're not familiar at this point, then you can always go back and watch either the, the previous videos or you can click the link in the, in the description down below, go to the repo and you can clone it so that you, you're able to follow along. Anyways, with all that said, we can just see that we have our UI laid out. Now we're gonna be working with two different packages today. The first one's going to allow us to actually do the screenshot of a specific widget and then um, the second one's going to allow us to share it. So as you can see, I have like this little Polaroid looking card right here that has an image in it and then this uh, some text in it. So it's just this image asset, right? And then some text and you can see that nothing's crazy going on. This is what the image is. So yeah, let's head over to pub.dev and the first one that we wanna get is um, screenshot so let's go ahead and enter in screenshot right there we're gonna hit enter and then we're gonna go like bam and then we're gonna scroll down and be like oh bam there it is so it's relatively easy to um, create a screenshot all we need to do is have a screenshot controller and then we need to wrap our widget that we want to screenshot in this screenshot object and then we'll pass in the controller. Once we want to trigger the screenshot, then what we'll do is we'll do screenshot controller dot capture and then it's going to um, you know return back the image file like that. So let's go ahead and grab this one, head over to installing. We're gonna be like, bam. And we're gonna stick it over here in our pub spec dot yam. All right, right here under dependencies, we're gonna add that new dependency which is screenshot but before we hit save let's head back over and let's go get our other dependency which is going to be you know it it's called share so not share like the the actress or the singer but share like oh i want to give this to you so this is the type of share so share is actually even easier than the snapshot and all we have to do is either pass in a string that we want to share because we could share like text or we could um share files so we can you know, pass in multiple files and things like that. So really easy, really simple. Let's head over to the installing. We'll do like, bam, like that. Go over to pubspec.yaml, do like kapow, like that. Now we'll do save, head back over to main, and now we can start implementing this. So let's first work with what we're gonna screenshot, right? So I wanna screenshot this card. And you saw it here before, it's gonna be essentially what's holding all this content in here. So the image and the text right there. So we wanna screenshot that entire card. So I'll go ahead and refactor it into a widget and we're gonna call that screenshot. Make sure you get that auto import going for you. It's gonna be a game changer for sure. Then we also need to pass in the controller, which we do not have yet. And we'll go up to the top because we're going to need to access this from our triggering function and we'll create an instance of a, um, a screenshot controller. So boom, like so super simple, super easy. We love when it's simple, easy and nice mm, and warm. Okay. So now we have the screenshot controller. We have our screenshot right here. And what we need to do now is make sure that our button, which is this text button, you can see it right on over yonder. This is the button that's going to trigger the taking of that screenshot. Let's create a function that's going to do that for us. All right, so as simple as that, we're pretty much all set up. We have our take screenshot um, function. It's gonna be an asynchronous function because we got this fancy keyword called await right there. And we're going to call screenshot controller dot capture. That's going to take a picture of the child that's inside of our screenshot widget. 
and it's going to give us back an image file. Really nice and simple. I love it. I love it so much. Now let's just make sure that we're going to actually, um, you know, call this. So we're going to call it in our text button and we'll just say take screenshot whenever we tap that. Now what we want to do is we want to share that screenshot. So once again, it's extremely easy to do. All we have to do is just, you know, share the, share the image file. And just like that, we have awesome functionality. Like, what is it? Just a handful of lines of code? This was super simple. So as you can see, we're passing in the image file into our function that's share files. And then we have image file dot path, which is um, this image file, the path to that image file, right? So then it's going to open up our share sheet. So let's see this bad boy in action, shall we? So let's go ahead, hit that button. It takes a screenshot and, and let's try it again. And here we go. We have something going on down here. Okay. So we have this unhandled exception, um, bug that came back again. So this has been happening to me whenever I add in uh, new widgets or I mean, not new widgets, new packages into my project. If you know what the problem is, let me know. But if you run into this as well, I know that it's really easy to fix. All we have to do is just simply clear out our app. We'll remove our app. And then what we're going to do in the terminal is run flutter clean. That's going to clean our project. Then we're going to head back over to the pubspec.yaml and we're going to save it. So that's going to get a fresh uh, download of the packages and dependencies. Then what we'll do is we'll head back up to this fancy little sexy triangle up here, and then we're going to run the app again. All right, here we go. We have our app all opened up again. Let's take another screenshot and there it is. Boom. Look at share sheets already showing. So for those of you that are familiar with iOS, um, this is where you're able to like scroll through and select all your different options. So if you're running this on a real device, you'll actually be able to share this to Twitter and you know, tag your boy Kilo Loco in there. I'd really appreciate it. That'd be cool. But anyways, like you can share your widget to like any of the apps that you have access to. Um, I'm not really sure how it works on Android. Um, there's nothing different that you need to do to implement for Android. It's just that I don't work with Android a whole lot. So um, I haven't tried it out on Android, but yeah, uh, it's as simple as that. Now there's one other thing that I want to show you, because if you were to put this in an app, what you would want to do is link back to your app. So the, the way that you could do that is you could include some text along with the image and bam, just like that, you add in the text argument and now you have shared from sec hashtag sexy flutter app. Oh yes. So let's go ahead and save that. And I want to show you the difference. So now if we take a screenshot, same thing happens, but now when I hit copy, let's head over to somewhere where we can try it out. And we could do that in um, images. And if you go to the, or the messages, if you go to the messages, you can send them something. So remember that I copied it. So now I could just paste it. And as you can see here, it has the image along with the text that we added in there. And when we send it, bam, look at shared from hashtag sexy flutter app. And it has our screenshot right there. Look at it even has the border and everything. Isn't that like freaking cool? I think it's pretty freaking cool. So that's going to be it for today. I know that this was an extremely simple video, but I would love to see what you guys come up with. Um, go ahead and, and build out your own widget, take a screenshot and then tag me in it. I would really love to see what you guys come up with. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you for your time. Now go out there and keep coding passionately.